I'm The Gentleman Wake, and in this episode, we dive into the world and products of Wormwood, makers of the highest quality gaming accessories out there. I'll be giving away a $25 gift certificate to one lucky winner, so stay tuned for that. And remember, for the best in cinematic reviews, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. <laughs> If there's one thing viewers of this channel know is that I love finely crafted products of superior quality. I look for the same attention to detail in the things that I buy that I hopefully bring to the videos I publish on this channel. To that end, when I discovered Wormwood Gaming, a Massachusetts based woodworking company dedicated to crafting fine quality accessories optimally designed for tabletop gaming. I was immediately intrigued. It was obvious from the start that the products on offer were well thought out, innovative, gorgeously finished, and geared toward the high-end discerning consumer. In fact, if you're a longtime dice rolling role player, then chances are you've heard of Wormwood before. They've also had a few wildly successful Kickstarter campaigns in the last few years. They've had a longtime relationship as a sponsor of Critical Role, as well as an active and incredibly entertaining YouTube channel with 80,000 subscribers. But if, on the off chance, you are not familiar with Wormwood, or you are and you just want to get a better look at the breadth of products on offer from them, then this is a great place to start. And I think you'll understand why I believe these are the best gaming accessories out there. Before we get into it, a little disclaimer. Wormwood did send me a few of their products free of charge for this review, but the vast majority of the items you will see here were purchased by me and Wormwood won't see this review before it's posted, nor will they have any approval on the content herein. This is the linchpin of the Wormwood brand offerings, the Dice Vault. One of the very first products offered, the Dice Vault is made up of two halves, the slightly narrower lid and the slightly deeper lower half. Available in several varieties of wood, the Dice Vaults include beveled edges and finely sanded facets. One of the first thing you'll notice is the subtle but strong brand marketing. Even the unbleached cardboard boxes are elegant and subtle. The word Wormwood is emblazoned on the front of the vault and the logo a shield crest with a leafless tree with the silhouette of a sword in negative space splitting the trunk in two burned into the top of the vault, quite literally branded. The halves are held in place strongly and securely by two strong rare earth magnets. The top of the vault includes grooves on either side to slot and seal onto the bottom. It comfortably holds the content in black foam cushion compartments that can be upgraded to include black suede lining. The space within comfortably holds a customary set of seven polyhedral dice, including the standard acrylic type, gemstone dice, or even the slightly larger sharp-edged resin dice that have become popular as of late, and my personal favorite. Although it bears noting that the sharp-edged dice are a bit more snug of a fit and require a bit of compression on the foam in order to get the firm seal, once closed the dice vault is quite hard to accidentally open. The dice vault can also hold a number of other objects including the available line of wormwood pencils, more on those in a bit. The dice vaults are also sometimes offered as co-branded collaborations like those for level up dice and the hugely popular critical role. There's still one more level of customization included. For an additional charge, Wormwood will laser etch an engraving of your choice onto the back side of the vault, perfect for adding a personal touch to your vault or dedicating it to someone meaningful. As an extension of the regular dice vault, Wormwood also offers a larger, more robust master vault, featuring many of these same design notes and aesthetics as the smaller sibling. The master vault has a thumb groove to facilitate opening and three divided inner compartments with the same foam or suede lined options. The larger openings provide ample room for just about any set of dice or a personal tabletop RPG player character mini, and the thin slot can of course accommodate a third set of dice or a writing utensil of your choice. The master vault lid is held firmly in place by four rare earth magnets. These can also be personalized with an engraving. Wormwood also offers a selection of dice rolling trays in two sizes. The narrow and more compact personal dice tray features stone oiled water buffalo leather, 
also branded, and high walls designed to keep your dice rolls contained within the smaller space. There's a small cutout at one end designed for ease of rolling and also for use with another Wormwood product we'll discuss in a moment. The tabletop rolling tray is similarly constructed and features the same leather rolling surface as the personal tray. The tabletop tray has a narrow compartment for dice and shorter sidewalls which work well with the larger square footprint. Both the personal and tabletop dice include sturdy rubber feet screwed into thick plywood bases, designed to keep the trays firmly in place and protect your furniture. All of the above items are obviously designed with role players and gamers in mind, but nothing says the vaults have to be for dice or pencils. The trays can be useful as a nice catch-all as well. Earlier, I mentioned the word innovative when describing wormwood, but what can be so innovative about leather lined wood boxes and magnets? Well, although the technology involved isn't particularly advanced, the thought process behind the products is careful, clever, deliberate, and actually the dice faults I've shown you thus far are part of a system of accessories designed to work together and actually nest into one another. For instance, the master vaults slide effortlessly into the personal dice trays. In fact, Wormwood offers a branded leather strap free with the purchase of both tray and vault to keep everything fitting together snugly. The smaller dice vaults fit nicely into the narrow compartment on the tabletop dice tray. The smaller dice vaults also fit within the personal dice trays and when combined with Wormwood's magnetic dice tower, all three systems also nest neatly, confined by the similarly offered leather strap. The Magnetic Dice Tower is perhaps the most fun of all the items offered. Designed for maximum rolling capacity and to ensure the randomness of every roll, the Dice Tower nestles up perfectly either against the personal or tabletop dice tray. However, it's designed to come apart and slot into the personal tray using a system of extremely strong neodymium magnets and numbers laser etched into corresponding pieces. The dice tower is easy to put together and then take apart. In fact, it becomes second nature, I'd say, about four or five times after you've done it for the first time effectively diminishing the need for even looking at the numbers and matching them up at all. Perhaps the best part of the dice tower is the extremely satisfying sound the dice makes when they tumble down the ledges on the inside of the tower. And once again, the vault and tower fit perfectly within the personal dice tray, making for a perfect set to trek from the home to the DM's house. Aside from the interplay of all the rectangular accessories mentioned here, Wormwood also has a hexagonal system of products that include tabletop tiles designed for holding gaming components, cards, and well, of course, dice. In fact, there are plans to further expand the hexagonal accessories systems in an upcoming Kickstarter campaign. I actually only own one hex set product, the Tabletop Vault in Strawberry Paduke that I got as part of a promotion. Hormon calls it the Roll the Dice promotion and I'll explain that in a moment. As mentioned, Wormwood makes some mechanical pencils designed for taking notes during your tabletop role-playing sessions, but obviously useful in any circumstance. The mechanical pencil features the traditional thin 0.5mm lead format mechanism used in most mechanical pencils, housed within a hand-turned wooden sheath in the wood variety of your choice. The shorter and stubbier sketch pencil features a large diameter graphite lead and produces much wider line widths. I found that the lead included with the sketch pencil to be a bit on the harder side, producing fainter lines than I would like. Softer lead refills are available on third-party sites like Amazon, however, and provide a better drawing and writing experience. The metal cap on the end of the sketch pencil can be unscrewed and it doubles as a lead sharpener for the pencil. Both pencil sets include black Wormwood branded erasers. 
I'm a huge fan of natural materials like wood and leather, so really it's no mystery how it was that wormwood caught my attention. They make for handsome and attractive accessories on the desk or at the gaming table, and the sheer variety of woods on offer means that just about all tastes and preferences are covered, including collectors. In fact, all wormwood products are available in a core set of wood varieties known as the Core 8. They include the ubiquitous black walnut, the dense, beautifully grained Bolivian rosewood, vibrant varieties like Purple Heart and Paduk, and my personal favorite, Spalted Timber, with its simply fantastic veining of black burls and splotches and holes, the amazing serendipitous result of the contamination of the wood by a certain type of fungus. Other options like Cherry, Poison Wood, and the most expensive, Makassar Ebony, can also be had. Even within a particular species of wood, you will sometimes find a fascinating variety. The typically dark and reddish brown Bolivian rosewood can sometimes include wild streaks of orange in the grain or swirling knots or even pockets of sapwood that really give the pieces a tremendous high contrast character. In fact, the term high character at one point was listed as an option on the Wormwood site when ordering items, allowing those with more adventurous tastes to guarantee a wormwood vault tray or tower with some striking visual flair. However, this option has been discontinued, much to my dismay. I'm actually really hopeful they'll be bringing it back at some point, along with some of the other more exotic woods they used to have, like Witch Elm Burl, which is really simply fantastic for its natural knots. Some other woods like Wenge and Maple are also offered on occasion as part of co-branded collaborations like the ones seen earlier for Level Up Dice or as part of seasonal promotional campaigns. Furthermore, Wormwood sometimes offers special Roll the Dice promotions that offer a random chance at more exotic and hard to find woods, at the risk of course of ending up with a core offering. They offer a flat price for the promotion and clearly list on the website what the percentages are for lucking out on a more rare offering like lacewood or aromatic cedar. Because each and every Wormwood product is selected and finished by hand, there can also be some slight variations from piece to piece. And if for some reason you aren't happy with the way your product looks, maybe there's too much character or not enough, or if for whatever reason the product made it by the strict internal QC standards with some kind of defect or mistake, or it simply isn't up to your standards, the staff at Wormwood will gladly accept its return or exchange it for you. In fact, the policy actually falls under the blanket of a more robust guarantee, the craftsman's promise, which is Wormwood's commitment to replace your product no matter how long you've had it, if it becomes damaged or broken or destroyed, regardless of whether it's a manufacturer's defect or caused by the customer or even the customer's dog. Really, it's such a bold policy that I actually didn't believe it at first. A true testament to the pride and confidence Wormwood has in the work that they do. Of course, all of these beautiful, wonderful benefits incur a cost. The Wormwood catalog is not cheap, with prices on the vault, for instance, running between $38 and $144, and peaking with the dice towers, which can cost as much as $477, depending on the wood choice. In fact, these are definitely luxury items, none of which you would deem essential for play. But if you are a fan of highly crafted and high quality gaming accessories, whether for tabletop role playing or for any other reason, I can't recommend Wormwood products enough. They are beautifully crafted, clever and useful and look fantastic on your desk or shelf. You can view the entire product line at wormwoodgaming.com and for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate for a Wormwood product of your choice, here's what you have to do. One, like this video. Two, be a subscriber to this channel. And three, tell me which is your favorite variety of wood in a comment below. And actually extra points if you can tell me what mine was. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please don't forget to subscribe. Check out my review on the world's finest gaming terrain on the video that will appear right here. I've been The Gentleman Wake. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next time.